We're glad to know you're still there. It's the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, right now, we're going to our first hot topic, and that is that NNPC is opening the bid for privatization of the refinery of Port Harcourt. And some people are of the school of thought that they should have privatized these refineries before rehabilitation at all. Especially uh, Atiku Al Haji Atiku Abubakar is saying this that they should have privatized the refineries before rehabilitation. We have someone to discuss this with us, uh, Mohammed Abdullahi, a public relations analyst. Good morning and welcome to the program, Mohammed. Uh, good morning, Nigeria. It's always my pleasure. Mm. <clears throat> By the way, I like the way you look. You so the Africanness of your look is so beautiful this morning. Uh, thank you. Okay. Um, well, uh, the Port Harcourt refinery is, uh, I don't know if I would say it's up and running because they are yet to start that production that we want, but um, they're telling us that they're now trying to privatize it. And Atiku Abubakar, uh, the former vice president, has said that this privatization should have been done before the rehabilitation in the first place. What do you think? Yeah, um, in the first place, the, the refinery is not up and running, uh, according to existing reports. Mm. Uh, in fact, we have, uh, according to the NMPCL, there are two phases of uh, rehabilitation. I was really surprised that after the very first phase, uh, we went all, all out celebrating as a country. It's a very disgraceful act. I mean, in my own opinion, because it's, uh, it's not functioning. So why are we, why were we celebrating? Only God knows why. I mean, by the authorities. Uh, and 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 the second phase is said to maybe conclude maybe by mid this year, before actual production will begin at the Portacot refinery. Uh, but but again, to answer your question directly, um, yeah, I think I would tend to agree with the former vice president. We all understand that in this part of the world, uh, many businesses, corporations, parastatals, uh, and so on and so forth that have been handled by the government in so many years have been left in ruins. I mean, uh, some fantastic ideas, but because we have, uh, we have very serious people in our, in our helms of leadership, so you find out that these things are just left there. When was the last time, except perhaps earlier this year, sorry, the NMPCL declaring a profit for, it for donkey years. Uh, not, it's, it's been loss and loss and loss, you know. Um, for donkey years also, these refineries have just, been, have just been lying there and people are working, uh, being paid millions of naira, if not billions and so on and so forth. So I think I, I, I really agree with the, with the former Vice President uh, Atiku. That this should have been done is like uh, you know privatizing allowing people to come and bid uh, and then yes people who understand that uh, who understand businesses I mean the private corporations the private individuals and so on and so forth who understand what it takes to run a, a good businesses should have been allowed to bid and then uh, buy these refineries of before and then it will be or on their own terms to, to rehabilitate it or do whatever they want to do with it, you know. Because, like, uh, you know, the government have pumped in billions of dollars. The bid will cover these billions of dollars that have been used to rehabilitate uh, uh, the, 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 this refinery. So I think it's, it's, it wasn't a wise idea for, you know, the public funds to be injected into it before the privatization. Private process and I think this is why it is so because you know now you have a lot of um, competition in fact without competition Nigerian public businesses have been running at a loss so imagine where you have big competition now like the Dan Gauthier refinery I mean other modular refineries are running like in Benin and then perhaps in 2025 or 2026 you have another uh, refinery expected to, to be up and running by, by, by uh, I mean, in Aquaibo. So I think uh, this competition will be fierce. Uh, and I don't see uh, the NMPCL, I mean, m most of these are, you know, public refineries uh, that have been built donkey years to survive them. So I think it would have been wise 
for the government to have privatized before injecting public funds to rehabilitate when they know that perhaps they will be unable to face the fierce competition in the nearest future. Let me just pretend that I, <clears throat> that I understand why the, uh, the government did this. Let me pretend that I understand. Um, isn't it also wise to sell a property when it is in good shape rather than when it is uh, looking uh, dilapidated? Could that not have been the reason for this? It depends entirely. Yeah, uh, it depends. Uh, like I said, because of the fierce competition ahead, uh, even, even uh, the kind of money injected Remember, these refineries were not built perhaps maybe 20, 30 years ago. So it, 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 it will be difficult for it to compete with modern refineries like the Dangote refinery. You understand? Uh, with what will be built in, 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 in Akwaibo in the next two, three years. You understand? So even despite the kind of billions that are injected, it will be unable to really compete. So why not sell it off? I mean, why not privatize it? Better than injecting those humongous funds, because seriously, I do, I don't see any wise business person or businessman or business corporation buying or getting those refineries at a humongous cost. You know, I, I really don't see it because those refineries were built ages ago. Uh, they, they are not modern refineries. Uh, and uh, yes, drawing from your analogy, I think it would have been wise to sell them dilapidated rather than. Uh, you know, try to give them a facelift, a facelift that, that has cost uh, Nigeria a whole lot. That is my fear. Okay, some people also think that this is just an excuse to make sure that a, a total privatization will not get into that oil sector or if those refineries cannot be up for total privatization. And that is why they are doing what they are doing. Because from your analogy, uh, analogy, I get it that it will be difficult for people to come to buy it. Because if they are buying it, the cost of uh, refurbishing the uh, refinery has to be put into uh, whatever is going to be the, uh, in the actual cost of the refinery. So people are saying that it may be a ploy not to totally privatize those refineries. Do you agree? Yes, it's, it's very possible. Uh, government want to keep uh, uh, a percentage, a stake in it. But um, uh, like a citizen of this country, you know, I uh, have seen a whole lot of government businesses from the Nitel, uh, so many other businesses that we see that have been run aground by government. I, I don't see any reason why government don't want to really privatize. Uh, and, you know, prior to the elections, even in 2015, uh, where uh, the former uh, vice president Atiku mentioned his plan to actually sell off NMPC, NMPCL, people accused him. I'm not keeping a brief for him, please, but people accused him of saying perhaps he will be selling to his cronies and so on and so forth. But we see that even before uh, President Buhari left office, you know, he tried to borrow a cue from, I mean, the former vice, vice president's strategy because we see that NMPC. Uh, is now commercialized. I don't know what that language is anyway, but we understand that, you know, they are not fully, uh, you know, they are managed properly now to say, okay, they are accountable for themselves, uh, what they get, uh, what they remit to government and so on and so forth, you know. So uh, I think it's, 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 it's quite due that we look at some of these uh, policies, I mean, for government, because we have been unable to run businesses. I think government should just provide the regulatory framework the, you know, the, I mean, the, the good environment, you know, for businesses to try rather than delve into businesses themselves, particularly in this part of the world where we've been terrible managers of businesses. Uh, we don't want to go as far as even the Ajakuta uh, steel that have been there, billions and billions have been pumped into it and then it has produced no nail, no single steel for more than 20, 30 years, you know. But, you know, this, this is our reality. So why not privatize them? I mean, totally. Why is government trying to keep a hold of things that are making losses every now and then? You know, and then we keep pumping money. Uh, people are being paid billions of naira for doing absolutely nothing. And it, it makes actually no sense at all. 
Well, we've been told that Ajakuta Steel Complex is going to be uh, going to start producing military hardware. I don't know if you have that information. Do you, or you, you don't sound like you believe it. It's it's uh, it's quite strange. We've been told this several for se several times and se several years, you know. Um, but uh, it's it's it, it's quite shocking that nothing has come out of it. Perhaps now that you have a dedicated minister, I mean, uh, maybe uh, things might change. But it, it's it's still in doubt. It's still in doubt because what you need uh, to actually put that complex into uh, proper functioning, you know, is 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 not tight split. I mean, in terms of funding, uh, so I don't think uh, we, are, we, are, we are quite ready for that at the moment. Uh, so that's that, that, that's the bane, that's the problem we have here. You know, we just have a lot of edifices. We have people working, uh, actually doing nothing and receiving some salaries, travel allowances here and there. You know, uh, we need to really rethink these uh, uh, policies. And for me, as an individual, seriously, I don't see anything wrong with total privatization, in as much as if you have. Uh, private corporations, private individuals putting in their money, they definitely want to make it work. Nobody will inject perhaps even $20 billion somewhere and just allow it to win, except Nigerian government. You know, So uh, I think it might be our, our savior. Particularly now that we're even borrowing so much externally to finance our budget, finance some of our infrastructures. These are some of the things that we might actually look at. If I'm President Tinubu today, that, those are some of the things I will look at to response. You know, to tackle some of the infrastructural deficit that we are having, uh, rather than look at uh, external borrowing, that's just my thought. Okay, but so do you see a problem in this uh, bid uh, of the NNPC or yeah uh, to privatize this um, uh, refinery? Do you see a problem there? Uh, I don't really see a problem. I'm not really privy to the to the bidding. Uh, uh, but hopefully it will be transparent enough to, you know, give room for people and corporations that will be able to, uh, you know, uh, do things properly. Because that's some of the problems we have as well. Uh, people uh, sometimes uh, we, we find uh, even in, in, the, in, in the energy sector, you know, corporations and organizations that are able to better the lives of Nigerians in terms of providing electricity are handed over uh you know some of these buildings and we know what we see find blackouts everywhere in nigeria at the moment you know so i think it should be done properly so perhaps those corporations and organizations or even individuals that are willing to buy are capable of buying because it, sh it shouldn't be in such a way where per perhaps more than promised in the future uh like some of the real things we've, we've seen or had of in, the, in, in, in the past so if it's done uh in with due process and it's done properly. Why not? I think it might take the burden of uh, the government. I mean, in terms of uh, the percentage that the, the government is willing to uh, privatize. Okay, let's just hope that uh, this cut that has been put before the horse, <laughs> it's because the horse can move faster backwards, or maybe because there is an elephant in front that will pull the cart better. Let's just hope so. We'd like to thank you, uh, Mohammed, for coming on the show this morning. It was a pleasure having you join us today. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Good morning, Nigerians. Yeah. Okay, we're talking with Mohammed Abdullahi, a public relations analyst, on uh, the fact that NNPC uh, should have privatized refineries before rehabilitation, according to the words of Atiku Abubakar. And we're trying to analyze what that meant and what should have been done, actually. We'll move now. We'll take a, a very short break and move to our next hot topic. Just stay with us.